Hey guys, Brett here, and in this video I want to show you how to use the ClickBack Rewards software. So the first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is log into your ClickBack Rewards account. And when you log in, you're going to see a page that looks similar to this. Now, I already have one test contest running. If this is your first time using the software, you're not going to have any test contests. And the first thing you'll want to do is click on the Create New button. This is going to take you over to the contest creation page. And as you can see, creating a contest is made up of four easy steps. And you can switch through each step as you need, but we're just going to take them one at a time. I also want to point out that each option in each setting has a little question mark next to it. And if you mouse over the question mark, it'll show you exactly what is expected for that particular option. So let's go ahead and get started and build our first contest. The very first thing is to enter a contest name. Now the name of the contest is for our reference only. This could be anything that we want. and It's just so we remember what the contest is for. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my second test. The second setting is the contest title. Now this is what the users are going to see. The people that enter the contest are going to see this as the title of the contest. So normally you would enter something relevant to the prize or the purpose of the contest here. Again, this is just a demo, so I'm going to just type in second test again. Underneath that, you will enter the text of the contest. The text of the contest is the long description explaining exactly what the contest is, what it's for, and what they can possibly win. It's going to then ask you for a contest graphic. Now this could be a company logo for branding, it could be a picture of the prize they can win, it could be anything you like, and you can go ahead and click on the browse button and upload your contest graphic. For this example, I'm just going to use my blog logo from my personal blog. If you'd like to have a YouTube video play as well, describing your contest or trying to entice people to join your contest, you can go ahead and enter the video code right here. For this demo, I'm just going to leave out the YouTube video. The next setting is your target URL. Now this is the URL that you want to get traffic to. And it's important to note that this URL can be anything you want. You can use a contest to generate traffic to any URL. It doesn't just have to bring traffic back to the contest. It can send traffic anywhere you like. I'm going to go ahead and enter my blog URL just for a test. You're going to go ahead and select your contest start time and enter your contest end time. It's going to ask you for a social graphic. And a social graphic is the graphic that shows in a post if somebody shares it on Facebook, or if somebody shares it on LinkedIn, or somebody shares it on Google+, or somebody shares it on any of the social networks that will display a preview graphic. That is what your social graphic is for. You can enter the URL of any social graphic that you want, anything that you want to show when your contest is shared. And for best results, you should use a graphic that's around 650 pixels wide and 400 pixels high. Now, you can host your social graphic anywhere you like. Since this is just a demo, I'm just going to get the URL of a graphic that I pulled on uh, Google doing an image search. So normally I wouldn't use a linked graphic from somebody else's website like this, but it is just a demo, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll paste that in there. In this section, the final step is going to be to select your submit button. Now we have a couple of submit buttons for you to choose from, and you can select the one you want just by clicking on it. Once we've done all the settings in this area, we can go over to the next step. The next step is going to be your autoresponder integration. Now we automatically integrate with one of three autoresponders. You can choose AWeber, MailChimp, or GetResponse, and you can just enter your credentials into this area and we will automatically integrate with those autoresponders. If you don't use one of these three autoresponders, you're not out of luck. We do have the option to download a CSV of all your signups, so that way you can upload them to your other autoresponder. The third step is going to be to enter the rules and terms of service of your contest. And you can enter any rules that you need for your particular contest. You just use the WYSIWYG editor to type in your contest rules and the contest terms of service. 
Underneath that option, you're going to see what's called the Refer Blacklist. Now, as I said, the point of ClickBack Rewards is to run a contest that rewards people for sending clicks to any website that you want. But sometimes you may not want traffic from a particular site. You may not want traffic from you know, a traffic share site or some type of particular site you might not be interested in getting traffic from. When you enter that site into this Refer Blacklist, clicks from that site will not count in the contest. For example, let's say I didn't want traffic from the traffic sharing sites, uh, one of which is easyhitsforyou.com. I could just go ahead and paste in the URL right there, and any traffic that comes from that particular website will not count for the contest. I will not get the person that used that site to send traffic to my target URL extra chances to win. And if I want more than one website on my blacklist, all I have to do is separate them by a comma. The final step is going to be to select the background graphic that I want for my contest. And we have several graphics for you to choose from. You decide if you want to show a countdown timer on your contest, which counts down to the end of the contest. And you decide if you want to show the current stats of the contest. If you select to show the current stats, it will display the number of people who have signed up for the contest already on the sign up form for the contest. The very last thing to do is to enter the winner instructions. And these are instructions for people that have won the contest to let them know how they can get their prize. Once all of that is set up, simply click the save and exit button and you're done.